because it took me so long to work on this machine, uh, I have quite a pile of correspondence to reply to. And as a result, uh, these type slugs are getting uh, pretty dirt pretty quickly. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but there's already a tiny little black rim forming around the N over here and all the other letters as well. Um, of course, the best thing to tackle this would be cleaning it again with solvents, but I don't want to do that every time. So, in the past, they had a typewriter putty, which is basically some sort of gum that you can use to just dab on those letters and remove the ink. Well, they don't make that stuff anymore, but I do have this, which is a kneadable eraser, or artist eraser. It's called like that because it's, well, kneadable. What's in a name? You can turn into various shapes and points so you can accurately erase stuff from your drawings. I'm gonna see if this stuff works to remove a tiny bit of ink. I, guess I suppose if you do this after your typing sessions and don't let the ink dry up, that it might work. Of course, solvent cleaning is always going to be better. Let's see. Well, it definitely captures the ink. I'm gonna see if I can get this somewhat. There you go. It definitely captures the ink, so it works. Which also implies this is going to be a lot cheaper than new old stock. Typewriter. Uh, but the, well, basically you're not gonna find it anymore. Maybe some new old stock that's gonna be sold for exorbitant prices. But this stuff is relatively cheap for some daily maintenance after typing letters. Well, there you go. Looks cleaner, if you ask me. You don't see that many black lines anymore. And just go over them, take this stuff, fold it on itself. After a while it's gonna be saturated and then you need to discard it, of course, but yeah, it's good. I like it. Bye-bye.